One of the largest construction projects in American history stretches nearly 2,000 miles across deserts, mountains, and rivers. And astronauts aboard the International Space Station can actually see it when they look down at North America. The United States-Mexico border wall has been under construction for more than a century. And right now, it's undergoing the most ambitious expansion ever attempted. A photograph from October 2014, taken from the space station, captured the stark contrast between the two nations, with the Rio Grande cutting through the terrain and infrastructure marking where one country ends and the other begins. NASA's Aster satellite reveals this boundary in infrared imagery, American farmland appearing red against the more barren Mexican landscape on the other side. The wall itself, along with cleared construction zones and access roads, shows up clearly in high-resolution satellite imagery, creating an unmistakable line across the continent that you can trace with your finger on Google Earth. The numbers behind all of this are staggering. From the Pacific Ocean at San Diego to the Gulf of Mexico at Brownsville, Texas, the border stretches 1,954 miles. Physical barriers now cover 702 miles of primary wall and 76 miles of secondary wall, which works out to roughly 40% of the total distance. And that percentage is about to jump significantly, with $46.5 billion now allocated for what officials are calling the Smart Wall Expansion. The first barrier along this border appeared between 1909 and 1911, and it wasn't built to stop people at all. A simple barbed wire fence went up at Ambos Nogales, straddling Arizona and Sonora to keep cattle from wandering across the international boundary. Mexico constructed the first barrier designed to direct human movement seven years later in 1918, a six-foot wire fence in the same location. What began as cattle control evolved gradually into something far more substantial over the following decades. Chain-link barriers started appearing along the border in the 1940s, courtesy of the United States Immigration and Naturalization Service, and by 1953, most border cities had some form of fencing. These early structures were modest compared to what would come later. Systematic barrier construction in the modern sense kicked off in 1990, when Border Patrol put up 14 miles of fencing between San Diego and Tijuana. Three years later came Operation Hold the Line in El Paso, and the results changed everything. 400 Border Patrol agents positioned every 100 yards along 20 miles of border, and apprehensions dropped 72% almost immediately. Operation Gatekeeper launched in San Diego the following year, and the template was set for combining physical barriers with personnel and technology. October 26, 2006 marked the turning point when the Secure Fence Act became law. The legislation authorized approximately 700 miles of double-layer fencing across five priority stretches of the border, and it called for more than just walls. Roads, lighting, cameras, and sensors would create complete enforcement zones. By May 2011, 649 of the 652 planned miles stood completed, and the wall was declared basically complete. That declaration turned out to be premature. The barriers standing along the border today look nothing like those early chain-link fences. Steel bollard walls represent the current standard, and they're impressive pieces of engineering that reflect decades of refinement and testing. Hollow steel beams six inches wide, filled with concrete and rebar, rise 18 to 30 feet into the air, with the typical modern installation reaching the full 30 feet. A five-foot anti-climbing plate made of smooth steel sits at the top to prevent anyone from gaining a handhold. The bollards stand exactly four inches apart, close enough to block passage, but wide enough for Border Patrol agents to maintain visual contact with the Mexican side. What sits underground matters just as much as what rises above it. These structures extend six feet below ground level, with another two feet of concrete foundation beneath that, bringing the total underground portion to between six and ten feet, depending on the terrain. El Paso Border Patrol Chief Aaron Hull laid out the specifications. Eighteen feet of height, five-foot anti-climbing plate, concrete filled with rebar, six feet into the ground, another two feet of concrete underneath. The concrete-filled posts can withstand a 7,000-pound vehicle, traveling at 40 miles per hour. Breaching the internal reinforcement takes approximately one hour with power tools, according to official specifications. 
Protection at this level carries a price tag to match. Bush administration construction averaged around $4 million per mile. Modern construction runs between 20 and 30 million per mile, sometimes exceeding 30 million in difficult terrain. The increase reflects enhanced specifications, all-weather access roads, lighting systems, surveillance cameras, and detection technology that together form a complete enforcement zone. Between fiscal years 2018 and 2020, the Army Corps of Engineers obligated $10.7 billion in contracts, and 88% of that money flowed to just four companies. Southwest Valley Constructors, a Kiewit subsidiary based in Albuquerque, New Mexico, pulled in 26% of these obligations. Their cumulative contracts reached $2.7 billion, including a Tucson project that started at $646 million and later ballooned past $1 billion through modifications. SLS Co. Lighted out of Galveston, Texas, secured 21% with $2.2 billion in contracts spanning Texas, Arizona, and California. Fisher Sand and Gravel Company of Dickinson, North Dakota, matched that percentage with approximately $2 billion in federal contracts, their Arizona project alone covering 42 miles at $1.28 billion. BFBC, a Barnard construction unit from Bozeman, Montana, rounded out the top four with 19%. October 2025 brought $4.5 billion in fresh awards. BCCG joint venture landed approximately $3.1 billion across seven separate contracts, while Barnard Spencer joint venture secured $579 million for El Paso work. These new contracts cover 230 miles of smart wall construction, plus nearly 400 miles of integrated technology deployment. Nearly 2,000 miles of varied landscape has produced engineering challenges unlike anything in conventional construction. The border crosses shifting sand dunes, solid bedrock, floodplains, and mountain ranges, each presenting its own problems. California's Algodoni's sand dunes forced engineers to solve what seemed impossible, anchoring a barrier in sand that never stops moving. Their solution was elegant. 15-foot-tall posts that essentially float above the shifting sand, adjustable vertically as the dunes migrate beneath them. Few barrier designs anywhere in the world adapt to their terrain rather than trying to fight it. Field geophysicist Micah McKinnon put the geological challenges bluntly. Earth doesn't forgive sloppy. Ignore geology at your peril. Southwestern Texas presented different headaches entirely. Transpico soils contain high sulfate levels from gypsum deposits that break down both metals and concrete over time. The expanse of clay soils common along the border cause foundation damage to about half of American homes built on them yearly, swelling when wet and shrinking during dry periods. A 20-foot-tall wall ideally requires foundations 6 to 8 feet deep anchored to bedrock, but in some areas, that bedrock lies hundreds or thousands of feet below the surface. Texas alone contains over 1,300 different soil types. Foundation surveys for a three-mile pipeline in the region took five years to complete, which explains why approximately 535 miles of the border cannot support physical barriers due to unfavorable terrain. McKinnon offered a historical comparison worth considering. The Great Wall of China took 2,000 years to build and ultimately failed to keep out the invaders. It was designed to stop. The barrier divides more than nations. Research published in Frontiers in Ecology and Evolution in November 2024 documented that 89 endangered species and 108 migratory bird species face potential impact from border wall construction. 1,077 native animals have ranges that the barrier intersects across more than 130 kilometers of continuous border wall in Arizona. Researchers counted only 13 small wildlife passages, each measuring just 21.5 by 27.8 centimeters. That's roughly printer paper size. White-tailed deer, mule deer, American black bear, and wild turkey cannot fit through these openings. Southeastern Arizona's Sky Island region, where the wall cuts through mountain ranges, holds the highest diversity of mammals, reptiles, and ants in the United States, and carries recognition as a global biodiversity hotspot. The San Rafael Valley crosses 27 miles of barrier construction, and those 27 miles contain the last intact prairie grasslands in Arizona. That same valley is the only location in the United States 
where both wild jaguars and ocelots have been documented living in the wild. Three jaguars have been confirmed in Arizona since 2015, tracked under the names El Jefe, Yo Oco, and Oshad. Experts estimate 86% of suitable jaguar habitat along the border was cut off by 2021. Researchers stumbled onto an unexpected finding during their surveys. When construction crews accidentally placed bollards farther apart than the standard four inches, creating gaps closer to five and a half inches, wildlife cameras captured dramatically higher passage rates. Mountain lions achieved 42% crossing rates through these accidental anomalies, compared to 0% through standard gaps. Water resources took hits as well. San Bernardino National Wildlife Refuge saw barrier construction extract 770,000 gallons per day from the aquifer feeding refuge wells and springs. The refuge manager described falling water levels as the current greatest threat to endangered species in the area. $46.5 billion appropriated in July 2025 under the One Big Beautiful Bill Act represents the most ambitious expansion in the wall's history, and steel and concrete tell only part of the story. The smart wall concept layers multiple detection systems into a comprehensive surveillance network. Buried fiber optic cables pick up digging and tunneling activity up to 40 feet away, with systems sophisticated enough to distinguish between human activity, vehicles, tunneling operations, and animals. Approximately 300 autonomous surveillance towers now span from California to Texas, each equipped with 360-degree radar that scans a seven-mile radius. Underground seismic sensors monitor riverbanks while artificial intelligence analyzes patterns automatically, and stadium lighting illuminates the border zone after dark. The October 2025 contract awards reveal the scope of current construction. El Paso 3 alone involves $850 million for 42 miles of primary wall plus 6 miles of secondary wall. Tucson 1 combines 23 miles of secondary wall with 66 miles of technology deployment. Del Rio 1 includes 22 miles of smart wall plus 40 miles of waterborne barriers, floating buoy systems headed for the Rio Grande. Sectors that historically had almost no physical barriers now sit at the top of the priority list. Big Bend sector covers 517 miles of border, but previously had just 1% coverage, approximately five miles of barrier. Del Rio had 2%. Laredo had less than 1%. All three are now designated for expedited construction. Construction crews are working across multiple sectors simultaneously as of early 2025. The Texas State Program, operating independently of federal efforts with $2.5 billion in appropriations, completed 66.4 miles by August 2025 and aims to reach 100 miles by the end of 2026. The Federal Smart Wall Initiative has 230 miles of new steel barriers in the pipeline, plus nearly 400 miles of technology deployment. Major contracts are active in every sector from San Diego to the Rio Grande Valley. More than 80 miles of waterborne barriers, those floating buoy systems, are planned for the Rio Grande. December 2025 brought new waivers for Yuma County, Arizona, and the Rio Grande Valley, covering 36 miles of primary wall plus 265 miles of waterborne barriers. Peak construction periods saw crews completing approximately 10 miles per week, though complex terrain and logistics slow progress considerably in some areas. The Texas State Program has averaged closer to half a mile per week while navigating 114 miles of easement negotiations with private landowners. Stand back far enough, save from the International Space Station, and you can see what more than a century of construction has produced. Cleared zones, access roads, and the barrier itself cutting across deserts and along rivers, all visible against the landscape of the American Southwest. 700 miles of primary wall stand completed. 76 miles of secondary wall back them up. $46.5 billion are committed to expansion. 30-foot steel bollards anchor six feet underground. 1,300 soil types had to be conquered. Surveillance towers scan seven-mile radiuses. 1,077 animal species have territories that the construction crosses. From those first barbed wire cattle fences in 1909 to the smart wall systems going up in 2025, the United States-Mexico border barrier 
has grown into one of the most ambitious infrastructure projects ever attempted. Miles, dollars, engineering challenges, and environmental impact all reach scales that are hard to grasp from ground level. But from space, the line is clear. If you found this look at one of America's largest construction projects interesting, hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss our next deep dive into the world's most ambitious engineering feats.